Hello students, a very warm welcome to the Sedusat lab. I am again here your friend Deepak Sharma and today we are again here to discuss some of the most used communication skills and I have coined the name of today's lecture is let us talk. So, it is a invitation for you all and uh, it is uh, a suggestion to you all that let us talk. English it is a language and until and unless you would not use this language, you would not be doing the justice with this language. So, but you sab to pehle is rudi hai, sab chhaad do the all the grammars, the contents, kuch nahi. Sab to pehle if you want to learn the English language, then let us talk. Is galti aao ke tusi apne friends de naal, apne acquaintances de naal, jinne ta de aale do aale de ne, try to communicate with them in this language. So, only this is the motive of this all IELTS and communication skills lectures. Otherwise, you have everything in your hand at your fingertip with your educare app and all other things. So, syllabus already ta dekola sara, you have all the help material with you. But the purpose of this very special lecture is that you should get the spark of this thing that start communicating with each other. And when the day when you will start this thing, English would be easy for you, it would be extremely easy for you. Okay? So, I hope you will enjoy this lecture. Let us start. So, Aj the lecture is today I have specially coined some of the terms that you would be having while uh, introducing yourself to someone, taking the introduction to someone and just getting the discourse of the talk let go. Okay? So, let us start. Okay, so, first what you can see in this picture, yeah, so two persons or two friends or you can say they are seeing each other and what you can guess from the picture, what the charm shows on their faces, yes, they are seeing after a long time. Okay, so, when you are in the same situation, you to see me same situation, so, kese no mil deo, kafi der baat, how you, how do you greet, okay, in English language. So, this is the thing, hey, good to see you. So, this is the first sentence that you will start, okay, it would be a prompt to start the conversation. Hey, good to see you or hey, long time no see, means ke kafi der ho gai asi mileni, good to see you, okay, and get with this thing, long time no see. So, this would be an initial sentence, initial prompt that would be instigating your all further conversations with your old friends ya jinnu tusi kithe jande vi ho bahut der baad tusi mil rahe ho okay chahe raste ch hi hi hello ho rahi hai but you would see what hey good to see you means milke acha laga and hey long time no see long time kafi der to assi mile nahi ha so this is the first sentence that you would use in your uh, communication okay let's suppose school ch ho tusi koi friend do tin din to nahi aaya taada so, it would be a greeting for him because it is the essential of the language. Whenever you start the conversation, start with greetings. Or greeting kiya kise no mi kise tarikhe naal greet karna. Even in your applications, okay, or in your uh, uh, the letters, you write that salutation or greetings, dear sir, dear ma'am, dear friend. So, it is saying asi ik dusre no kisa mil deya. Always we greet each other. This is the first thing that you can start. So, this is the greeting when you see your friend or any person you know after a long time means, hey, long time no see. So, it is a uh, you can say uh, the local language dialect and hey, good to see you, good to see you, it is an expression, right. Okay. So, let us go with the second picture today. Yes, now what you can see these two girls, they are meeting each other, they are hugging each other, embracing each other and when this gesture we do, when we see each other, when we meet each other and we feel delighted and this is a Punjabi culture that whenever boys, they specially meet each other, they always hug, right, we hug each other, we embrace each other, and this is the expression that you would be using at that very time, lovely to see you, lovely to meet you, and again the next is, how is it going, how is it going, here it is, the word is written, house, 
हाउ इज इट गोइंग हाउ इज द मीन्स मतलब कि ये हाउ इट इज गोइंग बट हेयर वी हैव यूज द वर्ड अपोस्ट्रॉफे एस दैट आई ऑलवेज से यूज कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इफ यू टेक द रेफरेंस ऑफ अवर प्रीवियस लैक्चर यू विल गेट टू नो वट आर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन कॉन्ट्रेक्शन मीनस जिथे तुम लैंगुएज के कुछ वर्ड्स जंबल करके मिक्स करके उन्होंने कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर दौ लाइक आई एम की बजाय आई एम ओके शी वुड की बजाय शेड सो हाउ इज द बजाय इट्स हाउज सो इट्स अ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड मोर ओवर इट गिवज यू द स्टाइल ऑफ मोर अ नेटिव स्पीकर सो हाउ इज इट गोइंग हाउ इज इट गोइंग किस तरह की चल रही है जिंदगी लवली टू मीट यू लवली टू सी यू ओके लवली टू हैव यू हेयर इट्स एंटायरली माई प्लेजर सो एक जिक सेंटेंसिज ने दैट यू कैन यूज इन योर डे टू डे लैंग्वेज विद योर फ्रेंड्स दैट्स आई हैव मेड इट वेरी सिंपल एंड आई थिंक आई मस्ट रिमाइंड टू ऑल ऑफ यू हेयर दैट यू मस्ट हैव योर पेन्स नोटबुक्स विद योर हैंड्स ओके इन योर हैंड्स सो दैट यू कैन नोट डाउन द सेंशियल थिंग्स क्लियर और यू कैन हैव और योर टीचर कैन हेल्प यू विद बाय क्लिकिंग सम ऑफ द पिक्स so again it's an expression of what greeting lovely to meet you lovely to see you and how's it going how's it going how's it going means zindagi kis tarah chal rahi hai so the answer to see de sakte ho i'm doing fine i'm doing well what about you what about you that you we would be having in next pictures okay so uh what you can see in this picture yes some of the friends they are on a table or they are in a restaurant it's a formal setup where the friends are meeting and they are planning something hun tusi dekho tusi i am just creating a situation for you tade bhi kuch friends aake kande hai ki yaar assi itthe chaliye and you never have been to that place or you never have been to that situation so how do you react either you admit either you accept it or you deny it ye tusi man jande ho हाँ आई एम अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्लैन या नहीं बट कई बार की हिंदा चलो यार करके देख दिया राइट यू से दिस थिंग चलो चल के देख दिया की हिंदा ओके चलो करके देख दिया सो एन इंग्लिश एक्सप्रेशन फॉर दिस थिंग इज इट साउंड्स लाइक फन साउंड्स लाइक फन मीन सुन प्लैन बहुत अच्छा लग रहा क्लियर सो अगेन इट्स अ नेटिव स्पीच यू कैन से एक्सप्रेशन साउंड लाइक फन लेट्स गो फॉर दिस एंड सी ठीक है करके देख दिया की हिंदा कर दिया ओके so the first here the expression is sounds like fun means when you are planning something you have not been into that but you are getting just a sense of that that it is good in hearing let's see what happens so sounds like fun sounds like fun means lag raha hai ki acha hoega and this it's a very common you can say expression of speech in friends and even in your family also clear yeah, like some of your cousins or the uh, same t uh, the age group they are discussing something that let's plan this day in this way okay asi a karange a karange a karange chal kar ke dekhte hain so then your expression it should be more natural in this way sounds like fun let's try this let's try this and see let's go for this and see clear so i hope when you will be now with your friends you will be using this expression sounds like fun okay now next is yes this is again uh, the greeting of uh, you can say two people with each other and they are already what was the expression hey long time no see what about you and here again this thing the answer would be in this pretty good or i'm doing well i'm doing extraordinary if you are doing good you can say i'm doing extraordinary how about you what about you clear and moreover again in contraction a is not spoken here how about you it's bout only pretty good i am doing good how about you so again it's you can say ruling on the conversation conversation clear now here uh, it's another uh, i'm just creating the situation again how the situation would be ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਿਲੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਆ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਹੈਜ਼ੀਟੈਂਟ ਰਿਲੈਕਟੈਂਟ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਦ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੋ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਚਿਹਰਾ ਇੰਨਾ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਅਰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਯਾਰ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਆ ਬਟ ਮਿਲੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਆ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ 
Okay. So here the words again for you is familiar. Familiar means you know something some some something strikes you ki ha si mile ho ya kite. So here how the conversation goes have we met before have we met before ki si pehle kiti mile ya ya do we know each other your face reminds me of your face reminds me of means that a chehra mainu yaad dila rya ki the some of your friend or your close relative or your known you can say your face reminds me of my classmate in 5th standard in 5th grade so have we met before clear so this picture shows that the people they are clearly strangers to each other but lag rya ke they have uh, met somewhere so have we met before or do we know each other but the only thing is this sentence will give you a prompt to start the conversation clear so your face reminds me of one of my old friend or one of my cousin or one of my uh, relative who is living there clear okay so this is have we met before do we know each other clear okay let's move further yeah so uh, this picture is quite relevant uh, to the weather changes now we are experiencing okay so days ki ho gaya hun thand ho gayi na thodi thodi yes so how how we give this expression or normally when you people you come to school aur jadon ho rage age okay the climate change hoegi ya weather change hoegi sorry not climatic change weather change hoegi and how you would be greeting is yaar aaj thand badi hogi aaj thand badi hogi clear so how you would be using this expression in your language clear so this guy is doing the same i can't believe how cold it is okay and moreover you can't say this sentence in a flat and dull tone i can't believe how cold it is you'll have to add expressions language is all about expressions and especially in english you are rising intonation falling intonation it entirely changes the meaning of the sentence if you say i can't believe how cold it is means actually you are not believing it's a sentence but if you are feeling that thing i can't believe how cold it is कितनी ठंड हो गई ओके और इट्स चिलिंग टूडे इट्स चिलिंग टूडे डेफिनेटली द डेज अ टेम्परेचर वुड बी गोइंग डाउन इन कमिंग डेज सो दिस एक्सप्रेशन वुड बी मोर इन यूज ठीक है सो ए बाद करना कि यू आर जस्ट नोटिंग डाउन ऑल दीज एक्सप्रेशन बट डेफिनेटली यू वुड बी यूटिलाइजिंग ऑल यूजिंग ऑल दीज सेंटेंस इन यू ऑन कॉन्वर्सेश आई कॉन्ट बिलीव हाउ कोल्ड इट इज इट्स चिलिंग टूडे okay or it's freezing today there is a bit difference between freezing and chilling but i think chilling would do uh, good for you clear so instead of a cheez ke ha aaj thand badi ho gayi anje ho gaya so you can say this thing i can't believe how cold it is it's a complete expression or it's chilling today clear okay let's see further हूँ तो उल्टा की हो गया जो सर्दी हो गई तो गर्मी च की होएगा यस हाउ द एक्सप्रेशन गोज वन यू आर रनिंग यू आर स्वैटिंग लाइक एनी थिंग स्वैटिंग मीनस पसीना बहुत आ रहा था एंड गर्मी के टैंपरेचर इज क्वाइट हायर मोर सो वी ज एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ स्पीच दैट वी यूज इट वुड बी इट्स स्वेल्टरिंगली हॉट इट्स स्वेल्टरिंगली हॉट मीनस बहुत ही ज्यादा गर्मी है ओके सो इट्स स्वेल्टरिंगली हॉट I am profusely sweating. Profusely, profuse is a word that is used. I am profusely sweating. We बहुत ज़्यादा पसीना आ रहा है. Okay, it can be profuse bleeding. It can be profuse when the liquid, uh, the flow of the liquid is quite high. It's called profused. Okay, so I am profusely sweating, and it's swelteringly hot. It's swelteringly hot. It's too hot. can the bijay we change the expression we say what it's swelteringly hot or i am sweating profusely or i am profusely sweating so je kise nu wake but the with different people they have different their uh, uh, body symptoms so some they sweat profusely so you can say this thing he is in the problem of profuse sweating he stinks like anything clear so this expression you can also use with your friends with your uh, classmates it's swelteringly hot and ajkal de liye ki sega it's chilling today it's chilling today or it's chilling 
these days clear okay next is okay so what you can guess from the picture the lady is trying to do okay there is another picture yes so it's simply bus it's okay it's okay so the way jet sometimes the situation is tusi kise nu pasand nahi kar rahe ya you don't need any help or any intrusion in your system or in the work you are doing but agla aake puch randa as a courtesy sake ha main kuch karawa kar de na may i help you or uh, do i offer my help okay but you don't need that then how the expression goes how you would answer in a very smart way ki agle nu bura bhi na lagge aur tusi na bhi kar do right so what's the way to say i'm good thanks okay i'm good thanks actually it's a clever way of saying no ki nahi mainu koi zarurat nahi hai i'm all okay but in a good way means uh, agle nu offended bhi nahi feel karana bura bhi nahi feel karwana aur tusi na bhi kar deni hai so this is an expression i'm good thanks or you can simply say it's okay i'm good but again it's okay i'm good it will be a bit sort of offensive expression of speech so i'm good thanks it to see hamesha odo kahoge when you want to say actually no mean some of your friends they uh, pull you towards lunch or something ya kuch uh, unwanted help offer kar rahe ya assi kar dene assi kar dene and you don't want that to see apna kaam khud karna chahte ho then you can use this expression i'm good thanks नॉर्मली भी कह सकते हैं बट दिस इज अ क्लेवर वे ऑफ सेइंग नो ओके सो वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू से नो फ्रॉम दिस ऑनवर्ड्स टू योर फ्रेंड्स टू एनी ऑफ द पर्सन हु डू यू नो डू यू डोंट लाइक देन यू कैन से आई एम गुड थैंक्स इट्स ओके क्लियर ओके सो लेट्स गो विद द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर सो अगेन इट्स अ when you all classmates you gather at some point or one of your old acquaintances kisi nu bahut purana mile hoye tusi ek chanak unna nu dobara mil jande ho sometimes it happens ke hafte 10 din 15 din in a fortnight tusi aksar ek insaan nu dobara mil jande ho aur tusi kehnde ho yaar apa fair mil pe kinni choti duniya so there is again an expression of speech oh wow here we are again uh, what a small world what a small world main the expression of speech is what a small small world okay so here we are again what a small world clear so this expression you will speak jo main bolna kithe hai jadon tusi kise insaan nu aksar jaldi mil gaye ho right ya tusi kise nu kya okay we'll see again uh, okay. but now you are actually meeting that person or meeting that group of people so you will say hey we are again here right so what a small world clear so it's an again an expression so now these why we have put all these expressions together because these are the general expressions that you use with your friends aur jadon vi tusi apne friends nu milde ho tusi eho je chote chote expressions hi use karde ho and then you can make maximum utilization of these sentences okay so the purpose is only to make you speak okay uh now uh the days again it's related to uh, the day change changes of the days today again the weather changes so today when i was even traveling to uh, head office so there was fog on the way clear so ਉਦਿਚ ਤੋਂ ਸੇਮ ਹੀ ਹੁਣ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਕੂਲ ਆਓਗੇ ਲੈਟ ਸਪੋਜ਼ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡਰਾਈਵਿੰਗ ਯੂਅਰ ਬਾਈਸਾਈਕਲ ਪੁਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਯੂਅਰ ਬਾਈਸਾਈਕਲ ਔਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਬਾਈ ਫੁੱਟ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਇਟਸ ਸਚ ਅ ਫੋਗੀ ਡੇ ਤੁੰਦ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਓਕੇ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਕੌਸ਼ੀਅਸਲੀ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਫੋਗੀ ਡੇਜ਼ ਈਵਨ ਦਾ ਕੌਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਡਰਾਈਵਰਸ ਦੇ ਮੇ ਮੀਟ ਵਿਦ ਐਕਸੀਡੈਂਟਸ so such a foggy day so again it's an expression jis din to un zyada hove you can say this thing it's such a foggy day clear and you know this thing when uh, diwali de kol when uh, you play with firecrackers or thodi fog ho jandi hai or firecracker the smoke mix ho janda then it becomes smoggy 
ਸਮੋਕੀ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸਮ ਰੈਸਪੀਰੇਟਰੀ ਟਰਬਲਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਸਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਿੱਕਤ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਈਵਨ ਡਾਕਟਰਸ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਦਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਬਾਰਿਸ਼ ਪਏਗੀ ਤੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਸੋ ਦਿਸ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਫੋਗੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਮੋਕੀ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮੋਗ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਕੰਬੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਵਰਡਸ ਸਮੋਕ ਐਂਡ ਫੋਗ ਸੋ ਦੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਬਿਕਮ ਇਟ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਸਮੋਗ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅਗੇਨਲੀ ਰਿਲੇਟਡ ਇਟਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਰਿਲੇਟਡ ਟੂ ਪੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਯੋਰ ਬ੍ਰੀਦਿੰਗ ਟਰਬਲਸ but fog it's a natural phenomenon right so it's such a foggy day that you would be experiencing in a couple of days to un pani shuru ho gayi thodi thodi so drive cautiously or be cautious in the fog clear okay uh i think you would love this picture why especially those who are foodie they will love this picture what's in front of you yeah ਫੂਡ ਔਰ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਫਟਾਫਟ ਖਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਫਟਾਫਟ ਖਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਵਾਈ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਪੁਟ ਥੀਸ ਪਿਕਚਰਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਅਮਿਡਸ ਆਫ ਅ ਵਰਕ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੰਮ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਕਾਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਿਜ਼ੀ ਹੋ ਬਟ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਜ਼ देयर ਯੂਅਰ ਬੋਡੀ ਨੀਡ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਈਟ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਲੀ ਵੈਸੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਜੈਸਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਯੂਅਰ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿਟਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਓਕੇ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਸਮ ਲੰਚ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਲੰਚ ਯਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਬ੍ਰੇਕਫਾਸਟ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਡਿਨਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਨਾ but jadon tusi kali cho and you are working somewhere your entire mind it is focused on another thing but ha khan da time hoya hoya then or you can use this expression let's grab some food or let's grab a quick bite chit chit thoda thoda kuch kha lenne ha baad jo fer kaam karde ha let's grab a quick bite a quick bite means you either uh, you can prepare something in a minute then you can have or you can have some ready made thing but instead of saying this thing let us have some lunch okay let us have some food now it's another way of expression let's grab a quick bite let's grab a quick bite or let's grab some food if you focus on this thing i have put in the first sentence let us ha na or second sentence ki main likha hua hai let's now this is the contraction in writing definitely when you are writing in a formal way you can't use contraction but especially as we are dealing with the communication classes in speech classes you will have to use the uh, expression of contractions it anu ki karda it gives you a more easy way to speak and moreover you sound like a native let's grab a quick bite yeah let us grab some food which sounds more native that's let's okay or a bahut sare expressions ne okay he is my friend now this is a sentence undoubtedly it's perfectly okay but a sentence kadon use karoge jo tusi third standard fourth standard fifth standard ch hoge when you are just dealing with the language he is my friend but when you are speaking in higher classes you'll have to go with the flow he is my friend he's not he is clear so in the same way let us grab some food ni let's grab a quick bite let's clear ਸੋ ਹੁਣ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਫਟਾਫਟ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਾਂ ਲਿਆ ਕੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਗ੍ਰੈਬ ਅ ਕਵਿਕ ਬਾਈਟ ਲੈਟਸ ਗ੍ਰੈਬ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਓਕੇ ਲੈਟਸ ਗ੍ਰੈਬ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਜਸਟ ਫੋਕਸ ਦ ਮੈਨ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਿਫਟਿੰਗ ਸਮ ਹੈਵੀ ਬੈਗ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਬੱਚਾ ਕੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਕਰਟਸੀ ਕਿਆ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਕੜਾ ਦਿਓ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਪਕੜ ਲੈਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰ ਦੇਣਾ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੁੱਡ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਲਸੋ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਹੈਲਪ ਕਰਾਵਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਯੂਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਪੀਚ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਮੇ ਆਈ ਹੈਲਪ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਆਈ ਹੈਲਪ ਯੂ ਹਨਾ ਬਟ ਇਹਦੇ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਯੂ ਇਨਸਟੈਡ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਥਿਸ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਕੈਨ ਆਈ ਹੈਲਪ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਨੀਡ ਐਨੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਬਟ ਥੀਸ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸਸ definitely they are grammatically okay but in spoken if you try to sound more native can i give you a hand hun can i give you a hand da matlab nahi ke main haath tanu de dena can i give you a hand means can i help you can i offer my help okay so whenever now you are in the same situation that you want to help someone kuch pakdan de vich kuch saman chukkan de vich to asi ye keh sakde ho can i give you a hand okay can i give you a hand very good now
ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਓਕੇ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਡੂ ਸੌਰੀ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਯੈਸ ਸੌਰੀ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਯੈਸ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਇਨਸਟੈਡ ਆਫ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਯਾਰ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੰਟ ਮੇਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਸੁਣਿਓ ਐਕਸਕਿਊਜ਼ ਮੀ ਇਨਸਟੈਡ ਆਫ ਦੈਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਸਮਵਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਮਿੰਟ ਔਰ ਗੁੱਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਨਾਓ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਫੋਕਸ where i have written good time to talk i have put a question mark after that grammatically it is not there but expression of speech is good time to talk means you are asking ke tade kol gal karan da time hai do you have a minute okay or another way you can ask good time to talk apa gal kar liye so now in case of excuse me okay instead of sorry excuse me start using this expression do you have a minute ਹੁਣ ਜੇ ਪੂਰਾ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੋਲਾਂਗੇ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਹਾਂਗੇ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਮਿੰਟ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਬਟ ਉਹਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਗੁੱਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਮੀਨਸ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੋਰ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਬਟ ਪੁੱਛ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਭਾਈ ਤੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਸੁਣਨ ਦਾ ਗੁੱਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਯੋਰ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਆਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੋਰ ਸਮ ਡੇਲੀ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸਸ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਪੁੱਟ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਵਿਦ ਯੋਰ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ introduction is a very uh, you can say specific part of your personality whenever you see another person for once or when you are specially for a formal setup for an interview of any type the only thing that is counted is your introduction because you introduce yourself for the very first time so pehle dekhde hain si introduction ch ki main rakhde hain then some common errors that you do in your introduction okay so how does it start the interviewer or wherever you go for a setup plus two to see kar rahe ho even wherever you would be going for any job interview something so this pehli gal likh karde hunde interviewer tell me something about yourself and most of the students take my word most of the student they don't know how to start so this bete si tin cheezan leke chalni hai okay so then it would be helpful for you the first thing that you are going to say about yourself is name name okay i am or my name is this so if you start okay if you somebody ask me tell me something about yourself i am deepak okay or my name is deepak this is sufficient then you can add your place of residence place of residence i am from i am from amritsar if you want to go for an extended sentence i am from amritsar which is the northern part of punjab or northern part of india clear so two things that you have already included one is your name second is your place of residence aur meri gal sun lo it is very important why because it's going with you for your entire life sari zindagi de vich bande nu introduction hi nahi deni aandi achhi tarah so this thing is to focus ke ki ki bol sakde ha assi then you go with your educational background aur educational background ch ek cheez hamesha karni hai from latest to first ਕਈ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਡਨ ਮਾਈ ਮੈਟ੍ਰਿਕੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਈਅਰ ਦਿਸ ਦੈਨ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਮਾਈ ਪਲੱਸ 2 ਦੈਨ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਮਾਈ ਗ੍ਰੈਜੂਏਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਨ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਮਾਈ ਪੋਸਟ ਗ੍ਰੈਜੂਏਸ਼ਨ ਬਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨਡਾਊਟਡਲੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੇ ਬਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਦ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੇਬਲ ਵੇ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੇਬਲ ਵੇ ਇਜ਼ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਡਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਫੋਕਸ ਔਨ ਥੈਟ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਪਲੱਸ 2 ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਮ ਪਰਸੂਇੰਗ ਪਲੱਸ 2 ਬਿਫੋਰ ਥੈਟ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਡਨ ਮਾਈ ਮੈਟ੍ਰਿਕੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਈਅਰ 2000 ਵਟਐਵਰ ਕਲੀਅਰ so you can tell three things about in your tell me something about yourself name place of residence educational background then if the person asks hun ek cheez clear ho gayi from latest to first jada latest hun chal raha hai is to piche chalna apna har okay so the timeline would go from now to back piche nahi chalna hai past to now nahi karna now to past especially when you are speaking about your educational background okay then some common introduction mistakes or a sare student 90% kar rahe hai myself they start their introduction with myself no no a big no for that never do this never start your introduction with myself okay you would give your wrong impression in the very first sentence so instead of that say this thing i am harjeet i am parminder i am paramjeet okay or my name is this but don't start with myself it's a wrong way okay second is tusi commonly ki keh dende ho i read in 11th or 12th class i read again a big sorry for that this is not acceptable way to say i read in 
ਹੁਣ ਵੈਸੇ ਵੀ 11th 12th ਕਲਾਸ ਨੂੰ ਚੇਂਜ ਕਰੋ ਸੋ ਇਨਸਟੈਡ ਆਫ ਦੈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਇਨ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ 11 ਔਰ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ 12 ਇਟ ਸਾਊਂਡਸ ਮੋਰ ਅਗੇਨ ਨੇਟਿਵ ਆਈ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਆਈ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਇਨ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ 12 ਆਈ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਇਨ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ 11 ਓਕੇ ਆਈ ਰੀਡ ਤਾਂ ਵੈਸੇ ਹੀ ਗਲਤ ਹੈ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਰੀਡ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨਟ ਰੀਡ ਯੋਰ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਇਨ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ 11 ਔਰ ਗ੍ਰੇਡ 12 ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਮਿਸਟੇਕ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਥਰਡ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਸੋ ਇਹੋ ਹੀ ਚਾਰ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਰਸਟ ਯੋਰ ਨੇਮ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਯੋਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਆਫ ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਸ third year educational background and last if they say you can tell about your family system so here you will have to add this thing if you are from a nuclear family now what does nuclear family include nuclear family means mother father and children aur koi nahi mother father and kids kids may be 1 2 3 4 and less but it would be a nuclear family and if you are saying i'm from a joint family so joint family means you have three generations you your mother father and their mother father and it can be your uncle aunts all are living under under the same roof then it is a joint family so you will have to uh, select it very particularly on the basis of the family that you are member of clear so if they ask about your family system then first of all you will say that i am from a nuclear family then my father is this my mother is this or i am from a joint family then you will have to add the members there are eight members in my family my grandparents my parents me along with my uncle aunt okay so this is the first four basic parameters how to provide your introduction in a proper way definitely i will try to have all the other things that would be a part of your introduction in our next lecture but today whatever we have done focus on your introduction other things that expressions that i have given to you for just taking the conversation to the next level clear so this is all about your introduction and the things that you do on day to day basis and if we take the reference of our uh, last that uh, lecture i gave so many sentences to you that you can use with your teachers with your classmates and i am quite hopeful quite sanguine that you are using these sentences in your day to day uh, life okay in your day to day experiences so that whatever i want to deliver it all depends on your practice and you can practice with that that's why i have totally changed the concept i have given the name let's talk so je tusi gal nahi karoge te mere gal karan da koi fayda nahi hai so to, to take the benefit okay it should be collateral like so benefit collateral assi kar lena if i talk your mandate is to talk to your friends talk among yourself okay so best of luck to you aur manu ummeed hai jinne assi aaj sentences kite hain ohno nu vi use karoge and day to day use kara karoge okay with this promise okay i'll take your leave now thank you very much see you very soon with so many more sentences thank you